So our first speaker, Brian Funshine. He looks like he's going to punch me or something. <laughs> Brian's a jazz musician. He's also been involved in creating the first improv in English in Taipei. He's also responsible. It's pretty impressive. He's also responsible for the vegetarian potluck. Has anyone been to this? Right. Woohoo! And his ignite talk is going to be on spontaneity. Please give a big warm welcome to Brian Funshine. Oh, the hey, all right, well, I guess that's the beginning of the first, uh, other than that intro talk about spontaneity. We've got a short amount of time, so let's get started. Spontaneity is one of the words that is often quite misunderstood and very often misspelled. A uh, very easily misspelled word, and it's an act of something that you perform without previous uh, thought. And a perfect example of that would be a spontaneous birth. It's out of your control, as opposed to a chemically or surgically induced birth, I think I'm using uh, better here, where you have complete control. It's also the most anxiety-ridden and the one that, uh, okay, try this one, hey. Okay, an, an, a natural, uninhibited manner is the second definition of spontaneity, and that happens in children. Children until they become hit puberty, that is. Prior to that time, they'll do a lot of crazy things without even thinking about it. That's pure spontaneity. Growing naturally without being tended is also spontaneity, the third definition. Why do they grow? Why would a plant grow in a place like the desert? That is an un unnatural act of spontaneity to even bother growing in such a strange place. Hedonism, if you can't see, that's actually people having SEX. And the hedonism that happens when you become a teenager, the word is Greek for delight, spontaneous pleasure, something that happens just for the sake of happening in a pleasurable way. Pure spontaneity. Now, could something like this be planned? Could this not be spontaneous? I think that there's no way a festival like Mardi Gras could happen without pure spontaneity. And uh, this is a perfect example of that, too. Lucky drivers, the thrill of it. If you were on top of an overpass and you decided to flash the guy down driving on the road, unless they had a camera, you would probably not appear on the internet. So the epitome of spontaneity at work. And my, uh, my question for you today is, is it possible to have spontaneous art? Do you think this art was planned, or do you think this art was spontaneous? I think it came to this guy in a dream. I know I wake up with all kinds of weird art, art ideas. How about the Mona Lisa? Was that spontaneous? This is a company called Plan Spontaneity. It seems like an oxymoron, but what do they do? They have events that give you spontaneous experiences in a planned way. We have a structure, and then within that structure, we have spontaneity. Ah, uh, everybody, you guys know who this is? <laughs> Barton McFerrin, one of my biggest heroes, he's a, tra a, classically con a classically trained virtuoso singer who does entire shows with no plan whatsoever. He goes out on stage, and he spontaneously interacts with the audience for the whole show. And we have Charlie Parker, yet another hero, died at the age of 35. He uh, had left a legacy of hundreds of amazing bebop songs. He actually literally created bebop music, which is a lightning fast tempo music that is full of spontaneity and unlimited scale usage. And we have Jim Carrey, who is also an amazing spontaneous man. Who else could use spontaneity in, s in all settings of all natures, even in a place interacting with God? And here we have the king of improvisation, <laughs> Barack Obama, who always uses his intelligence to be spontaneous and to come up with, cut with really instant answers to questions on the spot that won him presidency, unlike this man who lacks intelligence and is unable to figure out what to do with his fist. Spontaneity needs a brain. It's virtually impossible to do otherwise. Come to our improv group and you will find out what I mean. This is an example of a man who's extremely intelligent and uses his intelligence in the wrong ways. He's using his spontaneity to do acts of destruction. I don't think that 9-11 was a uh, spontaneous act. It was extensively planned. And why? Because if you do anything dangerous, you need extensive planning. Otherwise, you'll end up in jail. Spontaneous combustion, is it possible? Scientists say no. I hope that it is possible because next winter, when I'm freezing my ass off in my room, I plan on spontaneously creating fire. 
Intelligent design? I don't think so. There's nothing spontaneous. Or I don't think so. This is complete spontaneity of nature. Nature takes all the elements, mixes them together in a spontaneous way. That's the only way you're ever going to have such beautiful art such as this. Are you willing to be spontaneous? If you are, please, now, take off your clothes and put on the clothes of the person next to you. That is the only way you can be truly spontaneous. Just make sure there's no cameras in the room. Otherwise, you will appear on the internet like Jim Carrey with his wife. If you're going to be spontaneous, make sure you do it in the privacy of your own home. Because if you don't, you may end up in the privacy of your own jail cell for being spontaneous like these people were, who I think did end up in jail. Maybe not. Jail is not good for spontaneity. And last but not least, I'd like to say, this man, commonly known as Spock, is not spontaneous. He thinks logically, and he calculates everything he does. And instead, I would like you to, to encourage you to be like this man, Captain Kirk, who was off the cuff and always gets the girl. Thank you very much, I'm Brian Funshine. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Ignite Cameron, and thank you to Kafka. Have a good night. I'm gonna share something with you guys about Brian. It is actually Brian's birthday today. Which is so amazing that he got it out today. Thank you so much. That's his birthday gift for you guys. <laughs> so if you have time, go wish him, <laughs> go wish him happy birthday in in the interval or something. Okay. Next.